Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my new video where we are going to be playing a bit of AP Misfortune support. Now, it is a really, really fun pick, but can be a bit troll. Um, if you want to try it out, I heavily, heavily recommend you have a good understanding of how Misfortune works in the regular playstyle of being an AD champion, um, because it's going to give you the backbone and the background knowledge that you need to play her as a AP uh, Misfortune, just so you have a good understanding of how to utilize Strut in a defensive manner in you so you will not get caught out because your only viability or your only survivability when playing misfortune is your movement speed differential and that is created by your slow out of your e and then the um, w speed up coming out of your strut so obviously when you're going to ap misfortune you're maxing e first you're getting the andre is going to get a bit of burn damage and it should be really nice to get off the um, black shields that the morgana is putting on people Cool. We helped him a lot with that E. Give him some AoE. So we have to be really careful in this lane because this is pretty much the premier lane. I think one of my most recent videos was a Jin Morgana um, video that at least recorded. I don't know if I've uh, uploaded it yet. And it is just super, super, super strong. So we get a nice little bit of damage out of our E right there. Now, it is an expensive spell. Oh, I should have been up for that. Um, so we need to be careful with mana. That's why we got our presence of mind. So we're probably going to get a fairy charm and utilize it a bit like you would a mana potion. And we're going to wait for the... There we go. Proc our cheap shot on him. Get the E slow. And when you're um, uh, low level, your Qs still do decent damage. Your autos still do decent damage with the love tap if you utilize that correctly. So... You want to keep that in mind when you are playing uh, Misfortune. Also, AP Misfortune works pretty well. Um, not as good as the AD variant with Ash, but it's still um, pretty decent. Okay. Got a little bit of damage there. I'm fine with that trade. I have more potions than him. Just utilizing that strength right there. Curving the bullet on him. Can need a bit of E damage down. Putting my love tap on something else. So he has to be careful. He doesn't have a Doran's item, so he's going to have a low base HP. I'm talking about the Jin right now. And we can get a flash. Uh, oh god, Ash, you got to help me here. Okay, looks like we lucked out. And just got a free kill. The Morgana lagged out because she knew how good I was. And she's just like, oh god. The little fit is too good. I, I gotta AFK this game. I just gotta cut the internet out. <laughs> in, all seriously, in all seriousness, whatever you're playing League of Legends, just take the freebies. I know it feels a little bit dirty to take those kind of kills. But it is, uh, it's what you should do. Because <laughs> they would do the same exact thing to you. Just gonna look for a Dark Harvest proc and back. Cool. He might have a trap down here. Alright, so he's at pretty low HP threshold, so we can force him back. Alright, good. Uh, he could have warded and done a trade with the QW there. I wasn't 100% sure on how he was going to do that. Okay, we stopped his back. Even though I didn't connect with the E, he looked to W me there. Alright, I don't know why this guy isn't looking to push this in. Alright, uh, I don't know why this guy isn't pushing in. Again, this guy should be pushing in the lane here. Oh my god, okay. Dude, it, it, I think it's just because he has a high HP that he's just like, okay, I guess I don't want to back here at this timing. We could have pushed in, we could have used our gold. Oh god, I, I really dislike these kind of players that don't understand wave management. I'm just backing there because he's... I'm not going to get any kind of um, decent back with this kind of ape in the ADC role. And now he's going to overextend when I'm gone. He's going to blame me because he doesn't understand that they have a huge max range catch potential. Um, just combining the Morgana W right there and then into a W snipe into the Q hit from Morgana. It's one of the most effective ways to get kills in the early game, particularly against enemy champions that do not have any mobility. And Ash definitely fits that criteria. 
All right, so Max and E does 165. We got the extra CDR, which is really nice. And then we are going to grab the Demonic Embrace as well. We're gonna get Sorcerer Boots because we really like the high base damages on our E. Okay, we missed that there, that's fine. Curve the bullet on him. It's a really forgiving uh, hitbox. He did not know the Q. Okay, yep. Oh, my E didn't chew through that. I'm kind of pissed. Yeah, we don't have enough damage right now. Mar Misfortune's E has been nerfed so many damn times. Um, but it's still a viable uh, build. Okay, flash Q ignite. All right, that's all we needed. So I just wanted to make sure to get my ignite off before he could heal. So that was my first ability that I press in that um, certain situation. She's gonna look to farm. In general, when you're playing uh, mage uh, supports, they do look for farm. So you can always um, get those cheeky little Um, extra Dark Harvest procs. Cool, we get a kill. And uh, be prepared, whenever you play Misfortune uh, support, people are going to troll you in lobby. Like in this lobby, they're like, Oh god, I have Misfortune support, now I'm going to get some Morgana support, the best support in the world. People just really don't understand that it's all about the player. It's not really about the champion. That's why I wanted to do a video on one of my favorite AP uh, supports, and that is Misfortune. So, um, we're going to delay our Leandres a little bit here. It isn't too advisable, but this is just a perfect back timing for the Sorcerer Boots. And it, it helps out so much. And you rely on your movement speed, and this is just going to be good. Now, Lethality Misfortune does work a little bit better, particularly when you're getting a lot of early gold because of its insane ability to just... Um, do a auto Q, proc your Eclipse, proc your Double Up most likely get a dark harvest and just do a really nice quick easy trade and then utilize enemy or allied cc and uh, get a really nice ultimate all right cool now you can choose between the sorcerer boots and the um the lucidity boots both are good However, I just like the um, Sorcerer Boots in this situation where I'm just looking to do um, as much damage against these Black Shields as possible. Cool. Okay, trading our E for that is actually super big too. Because it's a lot shorter of a cooldown, and he's pretty much using it on cooldown. Okay, and we're going to get our ultimate soon. There, we pinged the experience. Just looking, I know the Qs don't really do too much damage, but they don't cost too much mana and you're able to proc your support item and that's really the point. Cool. Just again, proccing our Qs where we can, getting our love taps in. Man, I wish love taps scaled with AP. That would be absolutely bonkers. AP misfortune would be like, actually um, pretty fucking uh, meta. All right, cool. We're getting a lot of damage on the enemy champions. If this guy um, actually throws out an arrow and looks to catch the Morgana off base, um, that could be really, really big. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, I'm super fine with Misfortune. Or uh, Morgana getting the kill there. Alright. Cool. Don't mind doing that at all. Getting her out of that situation. And then the Ash should be able to take over the lane and push it however she wants to. It's kind of funny. We have the guy, the, his account name is Trundle. And he's playing against a Trundle. Alright. Gonna look to help the um, mid lane. Because we have boots. 
got a lot of nice movement speed and we can help um, with like ra these random roams. Okay, cool. Trundle got um, dunked on. Ugh, that took a lot of our resources. That wasn't too smart of a play. However, we can get some plates here. Cool. Nice, look at that E-shred. Nice. Get a little trade on the jungle whenever possible you should always trade for higher value um rolls like the um enemy jungle or the enemy mid laner the enemy uh top laner can be good as well you ready we grab the control ward all right cool so once we start getting the andres we're gonna really really start shredding them we did see that we did decent damage against that trundle even though he's a bit um of a tankier champion, he did have a ruby crystal. Wonder if this arrow is gonna hit anyone. Ooh, that would have been a brutal snipe. All right, some nice damage. We can probably stack dragons because we're gonna have um, bot lane prio. And should be good, should be good. So the reason why Leandre's is also so good because of the burn, you also get um, a really, really good, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Mythic passive, because uh, you really, really like the CDR on Misfortune because you're so reliant on what your E does. You pretty much just kite around and then when um, uh, your E is up, that's when you look to engage and do some damage. I'm guessing that Diana's going to look to um, uh, roam on us. Because we are winning lane, we'll probably push out a little bit. Man, I would really like to have a fight where my Ash is close to me and can stun a target and I can just ult them. Right, gonna proc the dragon on him. Cool. Okay, gonna look for a good spot to ultimate here. Nice, perfect ultimate spot. We got the steal, got a huge amount of damage on the enemy champions. I could have looked to flash um, auto Q uh, ignite uh, that trundle, but I didn't want to utilize it to kill an 0 and 3 um, jungler. I don't. I just really don't think it's worth it. Alrighty. Cool. As you play more misfortune, you'll learn the alt spots that are um, really effective. I don't know what I did. I just thought there were actually minions there. I'm just blind. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's getting a little bit late. It's one of the last games of the night. Um, although I decided to pull this out, but I, I think it's a great pick. Do not judge me on uh, the stupidity of that boy, please. All right, dude, the Diana is surprisingly tanky champion sometimes. One in five and is able to take that much damage. It's impressive. All right. Um, ooh, this is first tower. I need to protect this. Whenever first tower is up for grabs, you need to be careful. Oh, he didn't have arrow up. I was just about to get up. That's sad.
Okay, hopefully he'll look for an arrow on a target. That's decent damage. Cool. Some damage down on her right there. Dude, we should really be looking for this um, this first tower. This Ash's back timings have been absolutely just deplorable. Her, her, his play has just been subpar. Everything has just been very, very unfortunate to have to play with. Oh, I shouldn't have put that ward down. She's just going to sweep that next one out too. Yeah, he's throwing arrows down mid. I mean, come on, man. People in this elo are not going to have the best um, reaction timings. The Q bounce to the wrong target. So we get a huge spike when we uh, get our Leandres. Can't. This is taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but uh, what can you do? All right. Let's see. Okay, got them both with that. It's absolutely huge. Get a lot of damage done. I am absolutely hate this ADC. He is such hot trash. He pings his R and his heal like we don't win that fight. Oh my god, the item breakpoints are so different too. It's literally Kraken Slayer into nothing. He is such a monkey. He could have had st a free double there. Oh my god. I hate passive players, man. Why do you even play League of Legends if you want to be pa so passive? And just play like a giant vagina. You have a huge lead in gold. You have a lead in items. We're stronger at this breakpoint. Every single ability is used on me. So it's he's essentially free fire. We're definitely taking an idiot tax on this guy. Complete idiot tax. I do not care what he has to say about anything. I take farm off ADCs that are like this ash Because they do not deserve a hundred percent of the farm. He just has to understand that he's uh, That I just do not care about anything that revolves around him because he's just gonna be absolutely useless in this game. To be fair, I'm playing AP Misfortune, and he probably doesn't know the lane too well, but I don't know, man. It, just basic understanding of the game and damage outputs and, like, how to play out a lane and when you're not getting focused like that and when I get someone down so low and zone with my ultimate, like, they... Oh, jeez. There was just so many, like, good signs there. Alright, cool. We're just zoning off the trundle. That's all that's really important. Don't trust this Ash to do anything, so I would I'm not gonna go more aggressive there. I could have fought in that choke point because the Morgana was trying to bait me into a um, a poor spot. My E does about 300 damage on him. Wow, that was a huge trap. Cool. Nice little, uh, that was a perfect box placement by this uh, Shaco. And he's an 80 Shaco. If that was an AP Shaco, that would have been like a triple kill. All right, cool. Yep, I'm not going to play around the Ash anymore just because I have zero understanding of what this Ash is looking to do. Cool, got a Dark Harvest proc. That's all I was looking for there. Could probably be going Demonic Embrace next for assists. Oh, and he's complaining about assists. Oh my, I don't want to chat at him. Because this account has been... Uh, has gotten a couple of uh, issues. This is kind of the account where I'm... 
not the nicest person. So I don't want to get another uh, report on this account and get it banned. I've played a lot of AP Ezreal and Misfortune support on this account. I'll just put it that way. Maybe you would have more kills and assists if you actually played aggressive in lane, buddy. That's a strange concept. Super strange concept. Okay, I'm gonna push this lane then. Nice little bit of wave clear. Ash is pushing down to tier two. Yeah, this Ash just doesn't have any understanding of what you should be doing in any respect of this game. Just looking to steal a red there if it's at all possible. Uh, oh, it's way too late if they're thinking about it. You don't have enough HP to do that. Yeah, nowhere enough HP, and we don't have enough damage. Cinder's a low. Ooh, that arrow was huge. All right, cool. Uh, we will grab a blasting one here. Mm, where is it? Yeah, if I was lethality there, those guys would have been absolutely shredded. It's fine though. I, I think AP Misfortune is definitely doable, and I think it'd be a little bit more fun to watch than the uh, lethality variant, just because that's such a common setup. So our comp isn't the best in the late game. A lot of our resources are on champions uh, that are need to close out the game a bit earlier in Syndra and uh, Shaco. And they're going to have a bit better scaling than us. I'm, you scale decently well as AP Misfortune, but essentially you hit a cap just because of the base damage of your E isn't the absolute highest is at 220. And it used to be, I think it, at one point it was even like 300 or something just dumb like that. Yeah, I'm good. This Syndra should take as much farm as possible, if I'm being honest. Oh, that's warded. That makes sense with his movements. Just looking to play around mid whenever you're playing support. This is a a good way of doing it just because you can move pretty quickly to the fights. Shen is put pushing top, which is good. Cool. Pushing that out. We should be looking for picks because we're a pick team comp. We have Ash Arrow and Syndra Stun. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this play. I think it's a little too obvious. Yeah, it was already warded out. We just don't have our um, Shen here. Cool. We got it. That was a bit risky. I forced it with that E. Um, we could have backed off. But I thought it'd be a good idea to uh, just force it there. Just because we had more champions that were in range to do damage. So it was a higher chance that we would get it there. I think the Trundle was bot side, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Trundle was bot side too. Okay, and we're going to grab the Giant's Belt here. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh, I wonder who, who got that shut down. Okay, that's not good. Jin got the shut down. He is going to be pretty, pretty strong. That's fine that we trade our uh, a soul just for, or trade Baron for a single one. What, is he really not taking the red? I'm not taking the red, dude. The Shaco should get the red. Okay. So what can be annoying when you're playing against Trundle and you are a misfortune is he can just pill your ultimate and it stops it from a relatively long range. Okay. 
being kind of careful here. I'm gonna take these birds. Cool. Don't want to let the Ash have him because she's annoying and is a garbage player. Nice. Did about 300 damage. Alright. Obviously, I didn't snowball as hard as I thought I was going to. Man, this Ash, dude. <laughs> He's so lucky that the Diana just didn't E without the Moonlight proc and just pull him in. He would have been dead. Because you don't need the Moonlight to land to be able to get that um, dash in. Did about 300 with the E, maybe a, a, an extra 100 with the, um... Nice, got Dark Harvest proc. Cool, cool. Usually you want to go, um... You want to go Comet with the AP Misfortune. I just wanted to try out Dark Harvest, see what would happen. Okay. Dude, this Diana freaking mission impossible i can't believe the diana got through that that's so annoying that's such a free kill if the syndra was paying attention what can you expect though i'm i mean i'm playing on my alt account and the elo is kind of low where i can do kind of weird things like this all right i can actually max my w i, I should be maxing my w second i forgot about that I remember this item kind of is super expensive. Even with these components, probably I'm off of it. Oh, just hit the mark. Perfect, perfect. Okay, yeah, this... Uh, I wonder if this guy's a first time Gwen. You rarely see Gwens go that many deaths. All right, so we got the double burn items. This is when your E just starts doing disgusting damage, as well as getting it consistently applied from the bullet time is pretty, pretty good. Uh, they don't have too much magic resistance, so I don't have to worry about anything like Void Staff. I can probably go um, the Cosmic Drive for the increased movement speed, as well as the really good amount of uh, CDR that comes out of that. I mean, the... Shen probably loses that, right? Because of the... Nice. And my ultimate just does a huge job in zoning. And if they want to fight into it, it's going to be really good there. Nice. Look at the burn. Just does a really good job. Okay. Uh -uh. Surprised I live there, if I'm being honest. Dude, kill him! <laughs> oh, he's just leaving me hanging. Oh my god. Oh, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> I was so surprised I lived there uh, through the Morgana looking for a Q on me and the Jin ulting me. Um, yeah, what does this even do? Just 20 more damage in the cooldown? That's actually a pretty big cooldown reduction to just get free applications of my burns. Oh, this is going to be huge. Once we get the Infernal Soul, we got the double tick. I forgot about how important CDR is. You should have it more in your rooms. All right, so we get 20, 40. Yeah, we get the extra movement speed. So I think this is probably her, his core, or her core, sorry. We steals him. Really curious to see how much like my E will do on a stun target. Gonna just kind of shadow this um, Syndra. This would actually be the freaking play right now. Just look for the ran most random freaking Baron of their lives. 
That would have been the play there because we were all in a back cadence, so it would have been interesting. It would have been a Hail Mary, but I think it could work. Just zoning again with my ultimate. Cool. And the pillar. Oh, dude, why would. This Ash has no clue what they're doing. It, just a pathetic ADC, if I'm being honest, man. Alright, that's game. Just kind of showing off what you can do with Misfortune. You have a lot of strengths. Uh, you just need an ADC that knows how to actually work with you. That was some really cool damage there. Uh, is she really faster than me? I think I got her flash there. That's funny. <laughs> Dude, That that's like humiliation. Like losing to AP Misfortune support when you're playing something so meta. It's just complete humiliation. gonna buff these up eh, now my team is backing off we could have forced that tower down really easily nice look back here look for a back here grab that i'm almost tempted to sell that dark seal for a kindle gem just for a little bit more cdr This Ash is still talking shit. He's literally like just the most clueless person. See, as you can see here, two thousand three hundred damage is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good. Trying to help you improve. Oh God, if I was not recording a video right now, this guy would be just. Uh, uh, is so I don't know man this guy just has he's the worst kind of League of Legends player he know he thinks he knows like so much about the game but he's so absolute dog shit look at that damage man that was like half the burn from the E Nice. Oh wow, they're just getting bopped. Cool. That was a good game. I'm gonna post this if you guys have any questions about this uh, champion or this certain champion in this certain lane with this certain spec hit me up in the comments down below as well as i'm going to put a pinned comment down in my discord with the link to my discord if you want to ask me any questions uh, directly as always guys take it easy